Hard Rock Cafe, why are you not open? <laughs> why are you closed? Still, I guess by tomorrow they will have the green light. They will get a green light to uh, reopen. Uh, things are slowly coming back. Beautiful day today. So nice. Springtime here in Lisbon, Portugal. Beautiful weather. We got it. I think it's like 24 degrees. It feels like 29 though. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're back. You know. Uh, Tomorrow, uh, they are given permission to many of the uh, small restaurants and stuff to open up, shops. At least that's what I'm understanding. So, should have some normalcy from tomorrow today is sunday it's the third of um, the month which is the uh, month of may and uh, people can walk around now don't see many people with much uh, mask anymore. Although I tried to go in a supermarket just now and they told me I needed a mask and I forgot it home, so I guess I'll have to go back and get one. But, as you can see, There are people riding around on the bikes and taking advantage of the liberty again. But it's so nice here and uh, walking here in the uh, Avenida Libertad, which is one of the main uh, avenues here in uh, avenues here in Lisbon. And uh, as you can see, there's not much people on the road. Maybe that's because it's Sunday too, and. Uh, Tomorrow will be more of a normal day, you know, so where you will have most people going back to work. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's coming back, folks. We are getting back. A lot of people riding around on bikes, enjoying their Sunday afternoon. What's nice about this walkway here is that uh, all the trees now, because it's springtime, they all has their full with the leaves and everything, and the leaves are not falling, so I'm getting nice shade. A nice shaded area to walk. Uh, guess I'm gonna love this even more.
Uh, it's so refreshing, you know, to be able to come out and walk around and enjoy the beautiful place again. So after about two months it's so refreshing you know we had two months of confinement <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll give you a lot of time to reflect to reflection no I'm happy that I stayed though, you know, that I didn't try to run away from the virus. <laughs> I go to another country or another area. I choose to stay here. Best decision so far. <laughs> uh, so far, so good. What do they say? Sometimes uh, you get to appreciate the things that uh, are available to you, right? And we don't miss anything until we lose it, right? And that's life, folks. That's what life is all about. Nature. Living. Love. Charity. What life is all about, folks. Thank God. Thank God for love, for life, for everything. Well, I think I'll have to end the video here. 
I'm checking to see, yes, okay, it's about 11 minutes. Not too bad. back to my hotel and get my mask and then go to the supermarket that's closest to my hotel where I'm staying what I had to do this today I had to come out and uh, walk around and uh, Just enjoy the atmosphere, you know. It's so refreshing to see the plants and trees all blooming. Like life is uh, all coming back, everything. We're gonna beat this, folks. We're gonna beat it, man. We just have to be positive, you know. And that family there enjoying their bike ride. Oh, that's a big cinema over there. It's been closed for a while. Cinema Sao Jorge over there. And there also is a theater. It's a, a theater here. Where they do plays and stuff. Tivoli. Louis Vuitton right there. They all closed today, but soon I'll be back, man. Soon. Yeah, we're gonna be this thing, you know. We are resilient people. What I've had admired so much here about the Portuguese people is that they are very, but they were and they still are, very disciplined to, to all the rules and regulation that was laid down by their government president and they did their part and uh, unlike in the states where they have it in America where they having so many problems reopening because the people just don't have the discipline to to wait to have the patience you know to really wait and for the right time you know when it's more better time to open but it's been a different story here in uh, in Lisbon uh, it's, it's more easy going more you know patient going more uh, relaxed going <laughs> uh, the people here uh, that's why it, they are able, they were, they are able to to take this and live through this in such a um, quiet manner, you know, and, and it makes me feel so good that I decided to stay here, you know, and uh,
make me feeling that one day I, maybe I should make this place my home, you know. Um, I'm feeling so connected to it now. So connected to the people, to the city. I just gotta learn more of the language so I can uh, fit in. But I can tell you it is a place that I would I would love to retire, you know, if, if it's possible, if I can. If I can find a way to do it. I think I can survive here pretty good. I love their tranquility, you know. I love the peace here, man. Peace and the tranquility, I love it. Of course, it's not for everyone, you know. Uh, different cultures and everything. But I've seen it all. I've been traveling around, so I've seen it all, you know, and... I've seen it all. Okay, folks. Bye.